Welcome to another episode of Med Madness. Today we're diving into a critical topic that every medical student should grasp, ventricular tachycardia or VT. Understanding VT is crucial because it can lead to sudden cardiac death if not promptly recognised and treated. In this episode we will cover what VT is, its causes and risk factors, pathophysiology, symptoms, diagnosis, management and treatment. We'll also discuss a real-world case study to bring these concepts to life. Let's start by defining ventricular tachycardia. VT is a type of arrhythmia originating from the ventricles, characterised by a fast heart rate of 100 beats per minute or more. This condition can be life-threatening and often requires immediate medical intervention. VT commonly occurs in individuals with underlying heart conditions, particularly those with previous myocardial infarction and left ventricular systolic dysfunction. Other causes include electrolyte imbalances, cardiomyopathy, and certain medications that prolong the QT interval. The pathophysiology of VT involves abnormal electrical circuits within the ventricles. In cases like torsade de pointe, a prolonged QT interval creates a vulnerable period during which a premature ventricular contraction can trigger the arrhythmia. This results in rapid, uncoordinated ventricular contractions. Next, let's discuss the symptoms and clinical presentation of VT. VT can present with a variety of symptoms, depending on the rate and duration of the tachycardia, as well as the presence of underlying heart disease. Patients may experience palpitations, dizziness, shortness of breath, chest pain, or even syncope. In severe cases, Vermont can lead to sudden cardiac arrest. VT is often identified during routine ECG monitoring or in patients presenting with symptoms of heart failure or palpitations. The ECG typically shows wide QRS complexes with variations depending on the type of VT. Moving on to the diagnosis of VT. Diagnosing VT involves a combination of clinical evaluation, ECG analysis and other diagnostic tools. The primary tool for diagnosing VT is the ECG, which reveals characteristics like wide QRS complexes and irregular RR intervals. Echocardiography is used to assess underlying structural heart disease. Electrolyte panels help identify any contributing electrolyte imbalances. In some cases, further imaging like MRI or CT scans may be used to evaluate structural abnormalities, and electrophysiological studies might be conducted to pinpoint the origin of the arrhythmia. Next, let's explore the management and treatment of VT. Managing VT requires a multifaceted approach often starting with addressing any reversible causes. Treatment options include medical interventions such as antiarrhythmic medications like amiodarone, beta blockers, and sometimes lidocaine. Electrolyte replenishment is crucial, especially in cases of hyperkalemia or hypermagnesemia. Surgical interventions include the placement of an implantable cardioverter defibrillator for patients with persistent LV ejection fraction, despite optimal medical therapy and catheter ablation for cases where VT is refractory to medical treatment. Patients should also be advised on heart-healthy lifestyles, including diet, exercise, and avoiding triggers like excessive alcohol and stimulant use. To illustrate, let's discuss a real-world example. A 55-year-old male with a history of myocardial infarction presents with palpitations and dizziness. His ECG shows a regular wide complex tachycardia with fusion beats indicative of monomorphic VT. Further evaluation reveals persistent LV dysfunction with an ejection fraction of 25%. Electrolyte analysis shows hypokalemia likely secondary to diuretic use. The patient receives intravenous amiodarone and electrolyte replacement. Given his high risk of sudden cardiac death, an implantable cardioverter defibrillator is placed for primary prevention. In summary, ventricular tachycardia is a serious condition that requires prompt diagnosis and management to prevent life-threatening complications. Early recognition and treatment can significantly improve patient outcomes. Remember to engage with our pre- and post-podcast quizzes to test your understanding of VT. Stay tuned for more episodes on Med Madness where we continue to unravel the complexities of medical conditions. Thank you for listening.